Hey YouTube, love and light. The Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing a um, reading for my water signs. This is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. If this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. Um, this is going to be um, for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So I'm going to go ahead, um, but if you are not a uh, water sign um, and you are listening to this video, you are welcome here. Everybody's welcome. There is a message here for you. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off the space and we're going to go ahead and get started. So hey, water signs. I feel like I just did y'all yesterday, but that's okay. I did y'all individually yesterday, but y'all y'all deserved it because y'all be waiting. I swear y'all be waiting. <laughs> but I ain't going to forget y'all. Okay, so Holy Spirit. Angels, ancestors, and guides, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages from my water signs today. Anything that is of you, light and love. Anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. I ask that you protect my water signs as they receive these messages. Thank you, Spirit. Amen. 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 So let's go ahead and get it popping. Y'all, my last one of today. I'm going to have to change the narrative a little bit because I be doing y'all last all the time. But I'm telling you, my mom is a Scorpio. So, you know, I, I, I say I say the best for last. You know, she don't mind. She don't mind. She listen to. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in y'all energy, water signs. Oh, and I'm a Cancer rising. My brother, my father, um, my ex-husband is also Cancer. So, you know, <laughs> I got some water in my chart as well. And what else? Um, yeah, Pisces. I, I got one Pisces friend. I don't have a lot of Pisces around me, but that's okay. But the one Pisces friend I got, oh my God, amazing, absolutely amazing. Let's see what we got going on, y'all. What's going on, Water Signs? What is going on? I mean, that is the best person. I mean, the nicest and most respectful and beautiful person I know. <laughs> What's going on with my Water Signs spirit? Give me something from my Water Signs. Give me a card from my Water Signs. What do my Water Signs need to hear today? What's going on in the energy for the water sign spirit? Give me something from my water signs. Ooh, what's going on with my water signs? Oh, y'all got some stubborn energy here. Y'all, y'all dealing with somebody stubborn? Y'all dealing with a dang on earth? <laughs> ah, y'all dealing with some art? Come on, spirit, give me, give me one card for my water signs. I might have to just pick one. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It says you are bright energy color uplifts you somebody is vibrating so high you know very um vibrant um high vibrational energy um very colorful somebody could be um same sex i don't, I don't know what it, i don't know what the initials are our lgbt community um because it's a rainbow here don't have to be but whoever you are, you very, you very high vibrational. Um, you draw in a lot of people towards you. Um, 16 could be significant to you. 61, the number seven. But I feel like your angels are guiding you um, down a path. Um, I feel like you are very uplifted energy. I feel like you have the ability to uplift other people. Oh, and it says stay strong, be the God in life. Yes. Ground yourself, be loved. So... Um, also somebody might need to, um, open up their heart chakra. Maybe somebody needs to get a little bit grounded, do some grounding and rooting. Hmm. But I feel like your angels are guiding you. Um, uh, number 14 could be significant 41 and that 14 reduced to five. But I feel like somebody's may, may be going through, a um, a change. Um, to, uh, so just stay positive. I feel like you're staying positive. You're very optimistic. Um, you might be enduring a, a tra uh, going through a transition. But your angels are guiding you and assisting you. So trust your um, your intuition. Um, 
You may be experiencing a few challenges and obstacles in your life, but whatever these um, challenges are, it is going to help you ascend to a higher version of yourself. Um, and just know that you are on the right path. Okay, I like it, water signs. I like it. You are on the right path. So that's your overall general. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Let's get into So let's get some juice because we're going to have some juice today, y'all. So, oh, something is destined and fated to happen for you. So something, um, um, the divine has intervened to, to cause a detour or, or maybe cause you to go down a different path. Uh, or cause a detour in a connection or in a job. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look at it. It just keep popping down. It keep on. So your angels is right there with you. They are right behind you or right with you. You know? Yeah. Whatever this is, it's fated to happen. Divine inter intervention. It's been a detour of some, some kind. Could be with a, a connection. Somebody might want to come in and offer you an apology. Um, I feel like somebody might be getting some karma for something they did to you, but I feel like you're going to justice is going to be served. Uh, but I feel like you either um, balancing something in your life or somebody wants to balance something out. Somebody wants to break through with you or you might have had a breakthrough in your life. Um, you know, you know, uh, overcoming these obstacles and challenges. So you might re be receiving some, you know, uh, abundance. You know, a gift of abundance. You might be celebrating yourself. Okay. So we got party external. So some external forces. I feel like it's uh something is interfering. Something maybe in a connection that you in or in or um with your growth or your ascension process. So um could be um a lifestyle, maybe um Maybe you need to manage your finances better. Could be out partying. You know, it could be some third party energy because there's three ladies here. So, um, don't have to be women. But so, um, if it's a masculine energy, it's women. If it's a feminine energy, it's men or what have you. So, I feel like it's a lot of, uh, third party energy here as well as it could be, uh, people going out partying too much. Oh, but I feel like it's a lot of disharmony in the connection or this person could have be superficial, you know, live a superficial lifestyle, focus on materialism because these ladies is in some beautiful dresses. So I feel like um, it's a lot of chaos and conflict um, you're experiencing in your um, energy. And I feel like you are isolating yourself or isolating yourself from someone. But it looks like it may be a connection, like a love connection, possibly. There could be some disharmony due to third party. So you could be, uh, somebody could be triggering your uh, emotions or triggering you due to some toxic behavior. Or you could be triggering some someone else because you are questioning their behavior. So put yourself where you belong, water signs. Um, it could be anything. What's going on? It says, oh, it's a lot of confusion. It's a lot of confusion. Somebody creating illusions here. But I feel like you taking off these rose-colored glasses. I think you had on some rose-colored glasses at one point. Maybe blinding yourself to what was going on in your surroundings. Um, and I feel like you, you are right now focused on loving yourself. And that's triggering somebody. You know, I feel like you done took off these rose-colored glasses because they ain't on nobody's face. You know, I feel like um, this person maybe kept you confused about the connection. Or maybe non-committal, very uh, emotionally detached. Um, yeah. Having a lot of options. Not, not making a commitment. Not making you a priority. Taking you for granted. So I feel like this was a completion of the cycle. You ended a cycle with somebody. But I feel like this was a very painful cycle. But I feel like you you're going through a major transformation. And this could have been a catalyst of you going through a transformation. Or you could be a catalyst of somebody else going through a transformation. Right? But I feel like you are uh, going through this major change. Maybe a tower moment has occurred with someone, someone you're dealing with. Or have dealt with. And I feel like you might be in separation from this uh, from this person. 
but I feel like you are successfully completing this cycle and headed to uh, ascension. I feel like, oh, somebody watching you, somebody watching you. Okay, somebody is watching. This person is pissed that you cut their ass off. They mad. They spying. They inspecting what you're doing. They want to see if you're dealing with anybody else or somebody that this person could have been dealing with is could be watching you. Right. So I feel like um, it's multiple pe pe people watching because you see it's two faces in this card. So I feel like it may be multiple people watching you. Um, so I would be uh, be cautious of your surroundings. Right. Because I think somebody is pissed. You see these you see the faces on these ladies. They look like they some damn haters. Right. <laughs> So I feel like, yeah, this might be some energy from a third party. Yeah. Or maybe you trigger them. But I feel like you gain some downloads from your um in your dreams. You could be um, like I said, you're going through a spiritual awakening or a transformation. But I feel like maybe um someone is trying to send you some messages in your dreams. And I feel like this could be your twin flame a twin flame or you could be able to telepathically communicate with this person but i feel like this person feels like you are wish fulfillment to them so i feel like you're going to get this person wants to contact you this person wants to connect with you and have a conversation with you i feel like you might have them blocked because they if they're trying to contact you through your dreams it means you're not communicating with them um, in the physical, right? So the only way they can contact you is through telepathic uh, communication. So I feel like they are, they are trying to reach out to you, right? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe this person could be spiritual too. They may have some spiritual gifts, but I feel like you definitely have some spiritual gifts if you can telepathically communicate with someone. And I feel like you tapping in. I feel like you are in the flow, right? It says, be strong, be a God in light. I think somebody might be, um, some of you could be healers, light workers, star seeds. Um, some, um, some of you could have, um, be, um, familiar with, the uh, um, esoteric, um, or the occult or, you know, you, you could be like psychics or you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see what else is going on. So yeah, I feel like somebody wants to talk to you, but I feel like you got um, some very strong energy. I feel like you, um, are attracting people. That could possibly need some healing. I feel like you might have some healing energy here. But I definitely, or, you know, um, you emotionally fulfill, or, you you know, complete wish fulfillment for this person. But I feel like you are headed towards wish fulfillment as well. So let's see what the um, tarot has to say. So I have um, 10 of coins on the bottom of the deck. So this Ten of Pentacles, this could be involving a family, right? I feel like you are headed towards uh, financial abundance and security, long-term financial abundance and security. And I feel like that you are, again, headed towards your wish fulfillment. So you might be calling in um, a, a soulmate. Or this person could think you are soulmate. But I feel like somebody wants growth and expansion with you. Um, long term, um, if this person wants to uh, have a long term investment with you, so that's on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what happens. Let's see what comes out. Water signs. Let's see. What do we have for my water sign spirit? Yeah, okay. We got the four of coins. I feel like somebody is holding trying to hold on to you, but I feel like you holding back from this person. So, um, um, I feel like you are being very conservative also with your spending and focusing on your um wealth and abundance. Cause again, that ten of coins was there. So that's that ten of pentacles. You're gonna have the complete package, the family, the you know, the security, the abundance. You could be receiving an inheritance, some of you. Some of you could be receiving a financial windfall of some kind. 
that's going to help you be um, financially stable long term. Or you could just be, again, investing your money and uh, making smart investments that's going to bring in um, material wealth or, you know, financial wealth for you. So, again, uh, we have this four coins. I feel like um, you very being very frugal with your money, you know, being smart with your spending. That way you can invest. I feel like you are headed toward growth and expansion, but I feel like... Um, Somebody is trying to hold on to you. Hmm. This could be somebody who smokes cigars. This could be a boss. Somebody who's a leader, right? Somebody, um, somebody who could be very stingy, right? <laughs> somebody could be, you know, holding on to you for financial gain or material gain, right? But I see the Ace of Cups here. I feel like somebody wants a new beginning with you. I feel like you are going to be attracting that Ten of Cups, that Ten of Pentacles, that Ten of Coins we saw at the bottom of the deck. Um, you're going to have new uh, love, new romance, happiness, joy. Hmm. I feel like this is going to be complete emotional fulfillment for you. Or again, somebody thinks you are there. Oh, complete emotional fulfillment. And this is could be your twin flame. There it go, right there. This could be an earth sign that you're dealing with, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. But I see this ace to earth here. Um, and so I definitely see um a new uh like a financial uh financial abundance, a gift of a financial abundance coming towards you. And somebody wants a rebirth with you, right? This person could have been wearing a facade, you know, being very superficial, um, um, suppressing their emotions for you, not telling you how they really feel about you. Could have been wearing a mask. I feel like that mask is coming off. Maybe you force this person to look at themselves. But this person wants a reunion, reunion with you. But whatever happened, there was an unexpected um, 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 storm that happened. Like a tower. So, there was an unexpected upheaval in this. Ooh, and then it has alchemy. Your ancestors intervened. This was, uh, you know, um, divinely guided. And this is your divine masculine. Now, they have an awakening to what this connection means. So, Let's get into it. Oh my goodness. It's some good shit here. Y'all. 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 This person want to rebirth with you. But you headed towards um, wish fulfillment. Okay. Oh wow. That was uh, that was some good information there. So yeah. This Ace of Cups. So you, you're going to be emotionally fulfilled. Your, your uh, cup is going to be overflowing. Here go that Ten of Coins at the bottom. Right? Let's see. What else spirit? What else? Yeah, so, hmm. I think this person might have been delusional. Now they're trying to figure out how to get back to you. Oh, that's too many cards. Oh, I'm going to take both of them, though. Let me grab the card, y'all. I done dropped it on the floor. Dropped it on the floor. I'll be dropping cards all the day on time. <laughs> they so slippery, though, some of these cards. But I love them so much. They are awesome. So, um... We have the three of coins here. Somebody um, wants to build something with you. You know, the three of coins. Hmm. This person uh, wants to collaborate with you. Uh, now they want to come in and um, and be a team. Because um, you see, they want elevation. They see growth and expansion with you, see? So the coins going up the stairs. Or you could be learning new things um, that's going to help you, your growth and expansion. So you could be going back to school, some of you. Um, but I feel like somebody wants to build a foundation with you. Um, I feel like some of you going back to school to learn um, a new craft um, and uh, rebuilding your future. Focus on your future. Focus on your, your uh, wealth and stability, your long-term investments. So I feel like you're working on building a foundation for yourself. 
But I feel like um, it's been a lot of obstacles because you see the the books, the big books and the little young lady here. You know, been a lot of obstacles in your way, but I feel like you're going to overcome those obstacles. Then I have the Knight of Cups here. The Knight of Cups, um, this person, um, well... The Knight of Cups, I feel like um, it's, it's, you're going to receive a romantic offer. Somebody wants to come in like Prince Charming and win your heart. But I feel like also you're following your heart, Water Signs. Um, I feel like you are attracting um, attracting higher vibrational energies. And I feel like you might be, you know, uh, a catalyst for somebody else. Um, working on themselves and elevating themselves to a higher version of themselves as well. So I feel like, you know, a lot of people are attracted to you and your energy. And I feel like this person um, has a lot of love for you. So they're going to come in and try to fight for you, right? Look, the eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, so um, th this momentum is growing very quickly. So this means somebody wants to come in and take action very quickly. You can also see this Knight of Cups is on this motorcycle. So they trying to move very fast, right? Um, hmm. So maybe this person is maybe wanting to embrace some change. But they are coming to, and they're very determined to, to win you back. Because they see you as a complete wish fulfillment, right? And they want to come and overcome these obstacles with you as well. They want this new beginning with this Ace of Cups. Um, but I feel like you holding back from them. And this person is definitely wanting to hold on to you. And I feel like they've had some very toxic behavior in the past. But I see good things in your future. Ooh, a King of Cups. Ooh, you see, this person is growing. A Knight of Cups to the King of Cups. This person. Okay, I like it, y'all. This person is very... Um, I feel like you... Um, very in control of your emotions, but this person also is in control of their emotions. Um, very diplomatic person, very balanced. Um, this, I feel like you made a head over heart decision. I feel like this King of Cups energy is you, but it could be also this other person as well, right? I feel like this person is leveling up, and I feel like you leveling up. So this is this Knight of Cups. You know, you you could be loving on yourself, right? And then leveling up to this person that's making head over heart decisions, making very smart choices for themselves, focus on your uh, future, building a foundation for yourself. But I feel like this person wants to build a, build a foundation with you. So they are going to level up, level up. See, oh, come on through spirit. See, you got the level up, right? With the three of coins, um, this ace of cups, they want this new beginning with you. So they hold on, they hold on to you. But you holding back, but they hold on to you, right? And they could be holding on for, you know, financial security too. But I feel like this person is a boss all on their own. Uh, you can see, look, they got this tuxedo on. It don't look like no slouch to me. <laughs> so this person going to come in like they Prince Charming. They going to, you know, they very romantic, you know. But I feel like this person going to level up, you know. So maybe this person is making a change into themselves. But I feel like they see you as a star they see you as the star you know they feel like they have a lot of opportunity with you you saw, remember we saw that ten of pentacles ten of coins on the bottom of the deck so they just hoping and having faith that um they could rebuild something with you um i feel like you're healing through whatever this upheaval was and um they're going to come back to you and, and make you an offer i feel like you're doing a lot of healing you know, trying to maintain some balance in your life. But this person was very triggering. There's a lot of disharmony, confusion, and conflict because this person could have been entertaining third party people, third parties, right? But this person gonna come in, um, like you know, this person is a smooth talker too. So this person is smooth, okay. Oh, see, they're gonna have ten of coins, but they want this ten of coins with you, they want this ten of pentacles. They won't last something that's going to last. And I feel like you want something that's going to last. So you're not going to entertain any type of shit that's not going to give you what it is you deserve. I know that's right, Water Signs. I know that's damn right. But I feel like this person is really watching you. Oh, wow. I like it. Mm. This person holding on tight. <laughs> 
So maybe it was some friends and family that could have, um, you know, not just third party. You don't have to necessarily be romantic, y'all. It could be a job. It uh, Like somebody uh, dealing with, like, other uh, people. It could be a job. It could be... Um, friends and family giving them bad advice things like that so they, you know you know this person having a third party um like a, another woman or a man doesn't necessarily mean that's the case for everybody it could be other things third party could be anything that's interfering or external um entity or external something external outside of you and this person that's causing y'all not to come together but here go the three of wands i feel like you are on the right path you are focused on um, yourself, you broadening your horizons and, um, you waiting on your ships to come in. Hmm. Yeah. So this three of wands, you implementing, and this person is making a plan. They trying to implement a plan to come towards you as well. So be expecting that. Yeah. So tempers here, they see you as they earth angel, right? But they know, um, they, they messed up. You know, being, you know, toxic. They was in this toxic energy. They was in this devil energy, right? I don't, the devil ain't came out, but this disharmony here, this triggers and this conflict, this confusion, you know, the confusion and illusion is probably the set. The, this could probably be the um, seven of cups and um, this Neptune energy here could be the seven of cups in the tarot. But yeah, I feel like, um, you know, somebody is seeing your growth. And they, and they want to come towards you and build with you. They see you glowed up. You around here doing the damn thing. So now they watching. They they see you leveling up like a damn boss, right? You know? Yeah. And, I, you know, balancing your life out, being fearless, you know, releasing fear and anxiety, you know, being patient with yourself, you know? So, so maybe it took you a little time to get here, but you definitely here, right? You in the flow. Okay. So this eight of wands gonna pop right out. So yeah, you went towards your your what it was you uh, <laughs> you went towards your goals and focused on your goals with drive and ambition, and it's starting to accelerate for you. But I feel like this person, this energy, and it's gaining momentum too, and they want to come in and take action towards you because they know you a good catch. They know somebody else wants you, right? They see they see you um, glowing up. Everybody else watching. You see these these folks here? They watching too. The haters is watching. <laughs> these heifers watching too. <laughs> you see, it's some. They watching. So not only do they see you, other people see you too. Shit. I mean, what the hell, right? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you look at you. Look at you. Just in. You got a lot of endurance. You know, strong. You know, out here. Making moves, right? Hell, she got on, and and it's high vibrational energy, right? Hmm. Could be out here working out, you know, going to the gym, running. You know, this person running. Yeah, so this person running towards you, that's for sure. This person want to run towards you. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take these. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, because you go, you headed towards wish fulfillment, you know, and this person sees you as they nine of cups. This wish is fulfilled. So, the, you know, this person, look, a genie in a damn bottle, right? They wishing. <laughs> Your wishes is gonna come true. This this person trying to rub the damn side of the the other uh, other uh, can, the tin can, the genie bottle, right? Right. They trying to rub it because they see you as they you know they was entertaining. Uh, you see all these glasses up here. They did entertaining all this shit here. You know, think they had all these trophies when you was the damn real gift. You was the real shit. You was the real damn yeah. Mhm. Mm <laughs> you was the real damn boss here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but your your wishes are gonna come true with this nine of cups energy. Yeah, you're gonna be emotionally fulfilled, right? You're gonna be, uh, live a life of luxury and you're gonna be emotionally stable while you're doing it. And here this page of wands is, right? So um this person definitely is planning because they got a lot of passion for you, you know. We got a whole bunch of wands here. Let's see. We got um, the four of um, coins. It could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have um, the 
the four coins. We got the ace of cups here. Could be a water sign, but I feel like um, that's you. Water signs going towards your new beginning, you know, and that's a uh, towards uh, uh, Pisces, Cancer, uh, Scorpio. Could be you. Could be. Uh, um, then we have. Oh, it's a lot of love here. It's a lot of passion here too. A lot of love and passion here because we got a lot of. Uh, all we have is the coins, the cups, and the wands, right? So definitely a lot of love and, and compassion here. This person got a lot of love for you. I feel like y'all chemistry is um, very magnetic because, again, here go it could be a twin flame. Y'all drawn to each other, energetically drawn to each other, right? So this person definitely wants this um, new beginning with you. Uh -huh, but the wheel is turning in your favor. On the bottom of the deck, we got the wheel of fortune. Um, this person... Um, Oh, did I talk about the page of wands? I just put the damn shit down. <laughs> y'all, I'll be moving, y'all. I'll be moving. I was like, I'll put the dang old uh, page of wands down there and didn't even talk about it. Yeah. Uh, I feel like this person wants to explore new things with you. I feel like you explore new things. I feel like you have a sense of freedom and you're ready to go towards these new, uh, you know, broaden your horizons with this three of wands, also with this page of wands. So you making the plan and implementing the plan. So the page of wands is uh, creating the plan. The three of wands is implementing the plan and waiting on your ships to come in. I know that's right, but you moving very rapidly. You accelerating very rapidly and people seeing you glow the hell up. I know that's right. Come on. You got a lot of passion in what you're doing, but this person got a lot of passion for you and they coming for you. They rubbing on this damn can honey they waiting for a genie to come out the damn bottle <laughs> so you got the wheels turning in your favor you are being guided down a different path and the uh, uh divine is opening doors that you can't even imagine gonna be open for you yes yes you're gonna have a uh luck a, a great twist of fate is happening to you right now you know yeah i know that's right come on through <laughs> Come on through. Let's get it. Oh, oh, I know. Look, I, I talk too damn much, but it was so fun. It's so fun, y'all. Let me get a few more cards. We can wrap it up. Well, this one, I did like, oh, look. So the chariot, here you go. You you moving. You know what I'm saying? This, uh, oh, you had a lot of willpower, a lot of d d d uh, determination, and you persevered through it all. You know, you had all these obstacles, all these uh triggers all this disharmony and confusion in your life but you know what you transmuted that shit and, and and put it into yourself you put it into your goals and everything so now everything you you are headed towards uh the ultimate wish fulfillment the charity is called victory and success but this person won victory and success with you so this person coming for you because you see it fell on this knight of cups and this king of cups but you, you, they see you blowing up real fast. They're like, damn, what the hell is she doing? People want to know what the hell you doing, you know? Yeah, because also the chariot is um somebody who had to get it in the mud. Nobody gave it to them. They worked hard for it, you know? Somebody worked hard, you know, and put in the work, had discipline, self-control, and headed to damn success. You better come on through, Water Signs. I know that's right. Y'all better come on. I like it. Okay. Well, I'm going to take them two cards and we're going to, mm, and you know, judgment has been served. Judgment is being served here. You know, you're earning your rewards. You are awakening, getting a second chance at life. And this person wants a second chance with you. So somebody wants you to forgive them. They coming in with an arm. They coming in with an apology, but they done awakening. So somebody going through a transformation, you going through a transformation. This person could be going, you teaching this person how to, how to level up too. So you cause this person to look in the damn mirror. Cause we saw that, uh, that mask, right? Wearing a facade, right? But this person is waking, awakening to what this connection is. So they want to come in and apologize and build something with you. They coming. Let's see. There go that page of swords. They watching shit. Yeah. They being strategic, how they going to come in, but they not going to let your ass get away. So you can forget that water sign. Somebody is coming and they leveling up to come get you. Okay. You know, they see you got a lot of ideas that you putting in place. This little creative spark 
you know, but that they trying to come in and strategize. They coming up with an idea of how they going to communicate with you, but they watching you, they watching and the other folks is watching too. So people are spying on your social media, you know, they looking at you. Uh, maybe, you know, freak, you know, somebody popping up at the places where you and your friends hang out and shit, you know, but they see you. Hmm. All eyes is on you. Okay. Cause here you go. Queen of swords. In this Queen of Swords energy, not accepting nothing, you less than what you deserve. You setting these boundaries. You thinking strategically how to expand yourself and uh, go towards your uh, to your wish fulfillment. You use your discernment in this situation. You cut off anything that's no longer serving you. You very intelligent, and it shows. It's all over you. You know, it ain't in it ain't it it ain't on you, it's in you. You know what I'm saying? You got all the tools and resources you need to manifest what it is you desire. And even though you had to go through a lot of shit to get there, you you about to you about to rise to a, a level of success that you not even gonna believe. Right? Mm-hmm. Let's get some closing cards and we'll wrap it up. I can go to bed. Okay, I'll take them. It's four. I usually only do three, but that's okay. I am confident. 13, you are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimist, but practical um, outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. Yes, there it is, right? Mm-hmm. And then it says, 25, I am intelligent. You have a great ability to take in, process, take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. Yes. So we got, then we have, okay, the Wheel of Fortune was there and we got the Nine of Cups, <clears throat> the Eight of Wands. Yeah. This Three of Pentacles. You, you ain't playing. You being very strategic, right? You had that um, three of coins, right? Building, learning, building. Then you had the um, page of wands implementing the plan and uh, uh, or coming up with the idea. The three of wands implementing the plan and the chariot, you know, eight of wands being diligent, going towards what it is, your nine of cups in this chariot. Yeah, having victory and success. Yeah. I know that's right. Hmm. And it says, I'm diplomatic too. You have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. And I feel like you focusing on yourself, being fair to yourself. Yeah. And it's, it's showing. Yeah. You're going to have a um, wonderful outcome. You're going to get this 10 of Pentacles. You're going to get this nine of cups. Yeah. You you in this chariot uh -huh, moving in a damn brand new car. Shit. I don't know what kind of car it is. Maybe a damn Audi um R8. Who knows? That's what I that's what I thought. <laughs> I am a creator. Zero zero zero. You are one with the creator, and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something and something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth yes so you got new beginnings coming towards you water sign this was an amazing read i love it so um just keep on shining bright you know color uplifts you so put a little color in your life i'm sure you are because you're looking at you looking good out here from boy i can see stay strong um be humble and be a guide and light to others so you could be a catalyst to their growth and ascension. So that's what I have for you, Water Signs. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, love and light.